Yeah, hi, I'm Paul Archer. That's uh, paularcher.com. Um, I've been thinking uh, today about uh, about some selling skills and ideas for you that can, can make you more successful. And it came about by my wife calling me a bot the other day. She thinks she, I'm devoid of emotions and things. Don't tell her. It's just the, the secret that I, I, I use. A bot is short for robot. It's somebody that doesn't have any emotions, all those sort of things. And I remember um, when I was a kid, there was this thing called Cybermen, who were the terrible, terrible enemy of Doctor Who. And they were kind of like sort of androids. I was fascinated by robots as a child. Now, the point I'm making here then is don't be a bot, don't be a Cyberman or a Cyberwoman when dealing with customers. Try and be a little bit more human, maybe even more human than you are currently right now. Um, overdo the, the human side of your interaction with customers. Let me give you some examples. Um, emails. Emails are the most um, unemotional uh, things you could ever imagine, can't you? In fact, if you, if you put emotion in them, you often get it wrong. But to try and be a little bit more human with your emails, put people's names in there, talk about things that are unusual, and try and sort of break the ice a bit with the information in your email, and that would be perceived as being human. Maybe that's an idea for you. Um, webinars. If you do online meetings, for example, with customers, uh, clients, people like that, um, account managers. If you do um, m webinars, maybe scrap the uh, the PowerPoint-based go-to meeting type stuff, and go into Google. Get get onto Google Plus, for example, and go into what they call Google Hangouts, which are really really cool. And what you do is you just have a video image of you uh, talking to your customers, and you've got their video image as well. But you don't need high tech to do it. I would seriously don't. It's free as well. And this video, for example, rather than sending an email or, or phoning a customer, why don't you record a video, um, upload it somewhere private, of course, don't put it on YouTube, and then get your customer to read it. So it's more human, isn't it? It's that human interaction. A um, couple of ideas for you. When you're presenting, you know, standing up, doing your presentation stuff, ditch the PowerPoint, because most people do it very badly, and uh, just tell a story or two. Think of a, a metaphor, a story, an example that you can tell to the audience. Maybe bring in your personal life as well. I think with the, the change in the world, because it's becoming more technologically orientated, delivering information, people like to know the human part of you, the human touch. I think it's really important. I remember the empathy uh, model, one, two, three, the, the NLP first, second, third positioning. First position is you in your own shoes. Second position is going into their shoes. And then third position is coming out of both and seeing the point of view of both people. That's being human, isn't it? If you can't be human by getting into their shoes and understanding their point of view, what, what human can you be? So I think uh, uh, bots or cybermen, call them what you like. Don't tell my wife I'm not really a bot. I do have quite a lot of emotion. <laughs> I don't show it all the time, really, which is probably a fault of mine. But there we go. Be more human in your sales. Be different. Be unique. Show the real you. Show what your unique's about you, what's different about you in your interactions. And don't be afraid to do that. It's not, it's not a robotic world. It's not a, a formal world. It's informal. I think you'll get better on with your customers and clients if you show yourself as well. Hey, hope you've enjoyed those ideas. We'll speak to you soon. Bye.